your stuff this way. Well, I'm going to take care of a few things so we can celebrate. See you in a bit. Okay, Optimus. Isn't he the most wonderful man that ever lived? Oh, well, he's up among the top ten, anyway. How could I have ever doubted him, Harriet? He's sticking by me through all this. Just proves how much he loves me. I hope you didn't make all this up as some sort of a test. Of course not, Harriet. Well, it's just that if it's true, that means you're living here with Brian and your real husband's in a hotel across town. Don't call him my husband. Well, what, what should I call him? Oh, the sadistic playboy and amoral monster. Worked right on the tip of my tongue. He was enjoying every minute of this awful mix-up. Mm -hmm. Anything you like, but he is not my husband. We hope. Oh, oh. oh. oh that was quick. Okay. Brian! Both from around the right? So I'm not married to Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I've got something. I've got something for you. Now, I know that you've been very anxious. That's why I wanted to come over right away. Just, just tell us, please. Am I married or not? My contacts in the south of France checked all the marriage records. Uh -huh. Nothing, right? Yes. And they found a certificate proving that on August 21st, 1978, one Aaron Casey married one Duncan McKechnie in Antibes, France. It's all legal and recorded. Now, can I refer to him as your husband? No, Hensley. If anything, things have gotten even more interesting over here. Well, there's the land I told you about. And uh, this morning, I read an article in the City Times about Ms. Barbara Ryan. Yeah, well, it seems she's on her way to her first million, and that's just the beginning. Ah, hopefully more riches have just come calling. I'll be in touch with you. You give my love to Beatrice. Well, you find out a reason why I'm not home. Figure something out. I pay you for your ingenuity. Ah, Miss Ryan. Please, come in. You sent for me? I've been counting the hours. Well, that's interesting, considering our last conversation. Ah, uh, forgive my Scott's temper. Uh, please, it wasn't really directed at you. Coffee. Thank you. Apology accepted. Well, then perhaps you'll also accept a compliment. You'll look smashing. I don't count myself an expert on fashion, but I do know what I like. I think you just made up for the other night. Would you sit down, please? I just uh, wanted to double check our arrangement. I plan to stall the annulment as long as possible. I've been giving it some thought. I think maybe it'd be best if you went back to Europe for a while. I think it would frustrate Brian and Shannon to no end if they had no idea what you were up to or where you were. I think it'd frustrate them even more if they saw me every time they turned around. Besides, I'm enjoying myself. No, I think I'm going to stay here for a while. You've obviously made up your own mind. Since I'm going to be in Oakdale, uh, perhaps you'll agree to have dinner with me. So we can get to know each other better. I thought I told you that we can't be seen in public together. We'll dine here. It's, uh, more intimate. Certainly more private. I hope you haven't been spending all of your time in Oakdale just in this room. The town has a lot to offer. The Botanical Garden, the zoo, many theaters. As a matter of fact, I was out for a walk the other day and I came upon this unusual little island. It was quite romantic, with the ruins of a castle on it. For a moment I thought I was back on the bunny bunny banks of Loch Lomond. <sighs> oh, I know it well. Then it uh, wasn't homesickness playing tricks on me, it actually exists. Absolutely. In fact, it belongs to Brian McCall. We, oui, Shannon's Brian McCall. <laughs> you find this funny? Well, it is a very small work, isn't it? <laughs> I've got to go. I will see you at fashion. Okay, you got it. Betsy, you ought to tell Steve about Tad Channing because I might spill the beans. I'm lousy at keeping secrets. Yeah, <laughs> me too. Bye. See you later. Oh, nothing. Weddings. A couple months ago, Sierra's planning ours. Invitations, bridesmaids, flowers. I don't think she got anything that she planned for. 
You know, I saw Sierra Antonio and Mona Lisa last night when I Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah you bet. She'll listen. will use any excuse to drag them in. Why? Because she knows I still care about her. She likes to watch, you know. She's hoping uh, maybe I'll figure out that I don't stand a chance and then I'll turn elsewhere. Cinda? Well, don't look at me that way, Bets. I'm not... <laughs> She knows when I'm vulnerable, you know? She knows me pretty well, uh, very well. All right, enough. And back to work, woman. <laughs> okay, slave driver. I gotta call Lisa in New York. Oh, one more piece of advice from Uncle Craig here. I would tell Steve and I would not wait because secrets have a way of getting out of hand. I will. Stay away from the slime ball creep. You're too honest, baby, to play in this league, huh? Come in, may I help? Good morning. 